Hi, in this lesson you will learn how to add positive and negative numbers, also known as integers, with the help of a number line. You will then apply your knowledge of integer problems to scenarios involving elevation and money. You do need some prior knowledge of addition and subtraction and using the number line to represent addition and subtraction problems. So let's consider an example. Before we take this problem represented by the number line and represent this only as an addition problem, let's take, use our prior knowledge and think about how might we represent this problem on the number line represented by three arrows as a addition or subtraction problem based on our prior knowledge. So feel free to pause the video for a few moments and think about that. Now that you've had some time to think about, maybe you represented the arrow going from 0 to 9 as 9, and then you subtracted 9 since the second arrow is starting from 9 going back 9 spaces, and then for the third arrow you added 5. But what if we, could, if we don't use subtraction? How would we represent this problem as an addition-only problem? So let's give it a try. So here we have three boxes and we have two addition symbols. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first box and this dialog box pops up and in here I'm going to represent the first arrow. Well, the first arrow starts at zero and goes towards the positive numbers after the zero. And since it goes towards that positive numbers, I'm going to say that from zero to nine, I'm adding, I'm, I have nine positive numbers. I have nine positive numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and press the positive sign and then the nine, and then I'm gonna press done. And for the second arrow, I notice that it is actually starting from nine and going back in, and going back nine. So I can say that I am adding nine negatives. So going from nine to eight would be one negative. Going to seven would be another one more negative and so forth until you get nine negatives going all the way to zero. So I'm going to click on this box and I'm going to add nine negatives. Now, once you're at zero, the third arrow actually goes back in the positive direction and you get five more positives from zero to five. So I'm gonna click on the third box and put five positives. So now I have an expression of three values represented by two addition symbols. We do have an addition problem. So now let's go ahead and simplify. So based on what you might know about order of operations, you will first go ahead and uh, take care of the parentheses since there is nothing multiply. And if we click on it, you see that the parentheses simply go away. Now we have the following expression, nine plus negative nine plus five. So let's go ahead and take care of the first addition. And what do you notice? That nine plus nine simplifies to nine minus nine. That is to say, adding a negative nine is the same thing as subtracting a nine. So if I do that, I should get zero, and then zero plus five simply gives me five. So in this example, we started off with a positive nine, and then we added a negative nine, which gave us a zero, and then we added five again to give us a total of five, or a result of five. Now, in the rest of the lesson, you will be exploring problems that involve addition of negative and positive numbers. But let's consider a problem that you will get to explore a little bit more later. What if instead of starting with a positive nine, you had started with a negative nine? What would that be? What would negative nine plus negative nine give you? Think about that before you get to start on the rest of the lesson. I hope you enjoy the lesson. Thank you.